Hey, shalom, shalom as well. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem, Rakakudash. I want to the elders and apostles of Great Lost Stone. Shalom to you, brothers, and highways and byways, preaching and teaching this word in sincerity and in truth. You know, this is a brother Shapal from the James Jamaica camp. Real quick lesson, you know, and you know, this is based upon for us, you know, I mean, as um, Hebrew Israelites coming back to the state, you know, giving all praises, honor, and glory to our power because so long we have been cut off from our power, right? And now we come back to our true nationality, to the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you know, what I mean, to the grace and power. Right, of the Hawabash Mirosha and his mercies, man. Right, of the Heavenly Father who sent his son to die on the cross for our sins so that we can get this truth today, man. Right, I want to do a lesson based upon for the, 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 the shadow that has been cast over our people, right, and over the whole world for a matter of fact, man. You know, same. And in today's day, man, that is the reason why. Through the years we have been disconnected. Ultimately, it's through Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Right? And that is the reason why we have been disconnected from our power. Right? The Lord using Hisa, which is a so called white man. We are the Hebrew Israelites, the so called Negroes, Hispanics, Native American Indians. You know, um, we are the, the biblical Israelites where the scriptures speak of. Right? Or even the Father, name is Yahweh. And his son's name is Yahweh Shai. Right? See? We're, we, we were promised rulership. Right? Um, to rule this, this earth in righteousness. However, we're at the bottom of the table. Right? And we, we, we see where prophecies are beginning to come to pass. Right? That shows the, 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 um, the going down of Esau's kingdom and, um, and a true decline. Right, and the building up of a righteous kingdom to Yahweh Bashim Yahushua ultimately when the Lord comes, you know what I mean? Waiting on prophecies such as the, the um, Mark of the Beast, which is the RFID chip, right? The Third World's War, alright, to kick off civil unrest, you know what I mean? And a lot of upheavals, you know what I mean? In those prophecies, you know, and then, you know, the kingdom of heaven, you know what I mean? Is always, man, which is going to be here on earth, alright? Seeing so. We're going to the the um the shadow that has been cast of our people, all right, all right. Um, so first the scripture we want to get first is um Job uh, nine and verse twenty four, all right. This is Job nine verse twenty four, and it reads: "He said the earth is given into the hands of the wicked; he covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, we are in who is he? All right. So this scripture says the hands is given into the hands of the wicked men." Malachi, in the book of Malachi, it shows you that Esau is the border of wickedness. Who is Esau, the so-called white man today. Right? He's the one that covers the face of judges, ultimately, the ultimate judge, Yahweh, and his son, Yahweh Shai. Alright? Um, which today we can see what is a, is a whole different image than what the scripture actually referred to them as. Alright? So, so that is part of the covering, man. Right? The lies, you know, the deception, the brainwashing, you know, and that has been the thing that destroy our people, man. Ultimately because we we we, we um disobey the laws and statutes of the Hawabashi Yahusha. So we're sent over this side of the world, you know, to to face our punishment. Alright? Now we're in a time where all of that is gonna wear off. Alright? All of that is going to wear off, man. Alright? But, hardship, you know, hardship, a lot of our people have a trust in the shadow of Egypt, as the scripture referred to. You know what I mean? And the scripture also referred to a lot of our people as um, loving oppression, trusting in oppression, man, and perverseness. And that is what this society brings. When you're looking at this society, the doctrination, the indoctrination that has been given to our people is by a man of low stature and low moral who doesn't have the Lord Yahweh Bashimiyoshai interest at all, none at all. 
and how people love that how people has been brainwashed to accept that as a normal thing you know all right so the scripture the main scripture we surround in this lesson is based upon our second Ezra 2 and verse 34 all right we start off verse 34 the whole chapter is good man. all right so we just get the point it's um and therefore i say unto you O ye heathen hear and understand he O ye heathen that that hear and understand look for your shepherd and he shall give you everlasting rest for he is nigh at hand all right that shall come in the end of the world all right and when he speak about ye heathens man he's really referring to um israelites you know because there is nobody coming at the end of this world which you know the world abided forever the earth abided forever the world is not going to end you know what i mean speaking about that heon right the word world here um heon uh, which means an age or a time which just means he's our rulership you know it's coming to an end and at the end of that you know what i mean the lord basically Yahusha is coming to put that to an end a matter of fact see so that's the shepherd which you're waiting for and looking for Yahusha, right and we, we know he's not speaking about the heathen men because he, Yahusha is not coming for the heathens right jake who is in a hedonistic uh, mind state right a lot of them is going to wake up to this truth and come to this truth man, and be numbered among the elect they were once hidden because they were behaving like the heathens man because all israel went off but the lord through his mercy as so for give us this this um, knowledge bringing us back to this truth man. you know what i mean saying we were once heathens man and then we can we we believe the life that he saw which we were referring to um a while ago all of the filthy things where Esau put out there, man, we lived it until we come to the truth and know that, look, all of that is madness, you know, darkness, man. Light is in the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man, the wisdom and knowledge, all right, of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, all right? So it's a far, he's nigh at hand and he shall come in the end of the world, all right? In scripture, and he also says he shall give you rest. So it's a be careful, it's like a be ready to the reward of the kingdom. For the everlasting light shall shine upon you forevermore. That means we're not longer in being darkness, man. Verse 36. So flee the shadow of this world. Receive the joyfulness of your glory. I testify my Savior openly. Right? It's a, so it's a flee the shadow of this world, man. Right? We go to another word, um, shadow. On the uh, online etymology. Alright? I want you to listen to this very carefully. The shadow, right? Old English is the effect of an interception of sunlight, right? It's a dark image cast by someone or something to interpose between an object or a source of life. Let that sink in. I'm read that again. It's the effect, right, of in Interception, right, of sunlight, right, dark image cast by someone or something, right, when interposed between an object and a source of light. So there's someone putting something, right, between us and the light, a Yahweh Bashim Shaiman, and that is what caused the shadow over our people that's how people cannot see the light the scripture said um the scripture referred to us to to to, to the word you know what i mean and refer to Esau, right um you know matter of fact, let me just get that scripture let's bear with me a minute let's bear with me a minute So this is uh, this is Second Corinthians uh, four and verse four. No, four and verse three. All right. So as I read before, you know, it said there's something blocking us, man. Right? To cast 
you know, a shadow in between us and the light. Alright? So it's a uh, second Corinthians 4 and, and 3 say, if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world had blinded the minds of them, right? Which believe it not. Least the light of the glorious gospel of Yahweh Shai, right? Which is the image of Yahweh shall shine upon them. Right? So the God of this world had blinded the minds, you know, with all that shadow men. Right? And you know where a shadow is cast, there's nothing fruitful can grow. And I know that personal because I do farming with a, with a yellow bread of mine. You know? Seeing? So, the God of this world where the scripture referred to men is Esau. You know? The God of this world is Esau, man. And Esau, through the Lord, man, is, is um, blocking. Is, 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 is really blocking that light, man, you know, for us to get this knowledge. However, the Lord have mercy upon us, you know, potentially, you know, potential elect. You know, we don't know if we're a part of the elect, um, yes or no, but, you know, we know that we're called. You know, however, you know, we're here to do the, the, the job, man. All right, so this is, um, let's get back to 2nd Ezra uh, 2 and verse 30. Um, 35. It's, um, it's a flee the shadow of this world. Uh, you know what? Let me start back at verse 35. Right? It said, Be ready to receive the rewards of the kingdom, for the everlasting light shall shine upon you forevermore. It said, Flee the shadow of this world, right? And receive the joy of your glory. Receive the joyfulness of your glory. I testify my Savior openly. Right, or oh, receive the gift that is given you and be glad, giving thanks unto him that had led you to the heavenly kingdom. So arise and stand. Behold the number of those that be sealed in the feast of the Lord. Right, which is which is the elect man. 144,000 plus a third. You know. Um which are departed from the shadows of this world, right, and have received glorious garments. Of the Lord, right? And our garments is the righteousness of the saints, as it referred to in the book of Revelation. Man. See, and so all of this madness, you know, all of the, the, the philosophy, these philosophies, right? All of the things are junk in our people, man. The way of life, pedophilia, the, 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 the um, LGBT, XYZQ, you know, all of these things, you know, is, is what blocking us, man. And who is black, who is casting these things? Esau. That's what people cannot get to a power. But as we said before, we're in that time. But all of that is now being departed, man. Let's get a quick scripture. Um, Alright. Alright. Alright, so this is... Isaiah 25 and verse 7. He said, And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the nations. Uh, it's like uh, over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. Alright? See? So there's a veil being spread over all nations, man. Right? As in who the Lord is, right? Who the true children of Israel is, right? Seeing? Um, a veil that is spread wherein you can decipher what, what, what is right from wrong, right? And on the other hand, you have Esau pushing his filthy agendas, right? And his way of life. And people just um, receive that gladly. And that's why the scripture referred to it as um, um, the nations of drinking of, of drinking of our wine. You know? Seeing? So all of that is about to be a thing of, uh, um, uh, of naught, man. This is Isaiah 60 and verse 1. It says, Rise and shine, for thy light is come, and the, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Alright? And he's speaking about these words, man. He start with this word. Alright? He start with this word. So, so the blockage has been removed. Alright? And as we read in, um, in 2 Corinthians, I believe, 
right? Who look at as this world are blinded, the minds. Look, they are angels sent on high. You know, I was speaking on a higher level um, of, of understanding, you know, that there's angels blocking two thirds of our people from getting this truth. And there's angel ministering unto the, the potential elect of the nation of Israel, man. You know, so it's all done in the will and power of the how about Shimei Hashem on, on a higher level because this is his movie, this is his, his, um, his theater, and we are all actors in it. Man. See, all right, so it's going to arise and Allah is going to shine upon the elect of the nation of Israel and through the elect all nations, all the all um, sake, not all nations, you know, what I mean, all Israel, all Israel is going to be saved, right, through the elect and the mercy of the how about Shimei Hashem. Alright, verse 2. It says, For behold, darkness shall cover the earth and ghost darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee. Right? And his glory shall be seen upon thee. Alright? Say, and the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and the kings and kings to the brightness of thy rising. And that's speaking about you. us coming back to this truth. Alright? Saying so. You know, there's a shadow being cast, man, right, over this world, you know, over the minds of our people, you know, and it's been so long, you know, it's, 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 it's nothing short of a miracle that we can come and represent the Lord, the Hawaba, you know what I mean, and come back to this truth, all right, see, um, I don't know the scripture, but, um, okay, let's just get it, all right, so this is Psalms 101. 7 verse 10 he said we start a verse all right we start a verse uh it is a whole that man would praise the lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men for he satisfied his long the, the longing souls and fill it uh, the hungry soul with goodness such as sit in the darkness and in the shadow of death being bound in affliction and iron, right? And when you go back to the, the shadow of death, right there in um, verse 10, it, it's speaking about um, a place basically of death, you know, right? And and he, that's why um, Ezekiel 31, you know, refers to us as um, um, dry bones, you know, the valley of the shadow of death, man. All that we look forward to in this society is death. Death, death, death. Right? See? And they say we are born in affliction. Right? Verse 11. Because they rebelled against the word of Yahweh. Right? And command and contemned, right? The, 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 um, the counsel of the Most High. Therefore, he brought down their hearts with, with labor. Right, they fell down and was none to help. There was none to help, and they cried unto the Lord in their trouble. And he saved them out of distress, and he brought them out of darkness and out of the shadow of death, and break their bonds in sunders. In sunder. Alright? And that's what we're doing now, man. Alright? We're appealing, we're begging the Lord, how about shy? You know what I mean? To to get us up out of this place, man, very quick, man, because look. Trust me, this this is this is no life. And when you when you come to this truth and you know you're a king and you know what you deserve and you know what you're worth, right? And you have to be in a displacement taking all of this. Look, man, it it's it's it bothers your mind. You know? So with that one give all praises to Yahweh how about Shimia Oshai. You know what I mean? Tawada, Yahweh about Shimia Oshai for bring us back to this truth. You know, hope your brother hold on to the end. I hope you all brothers make it, man. And keep diligent. You know, shallow one.